I'm Brendan. I'm Ryan. From Finish Ticket. And uh, we're here in Chicago on tour with Arrows in Action. And uh, yeah, this is our, our van. All right. Um, so Gabe and Ryan. So Ryan does a lot of the driving. When Gabe, like Gabe needs to rest, he does yeah. a lot of the driving. Is the majority. The, the majority um, he kind of just goes, he loves to just drive. Um, but when he does need a break, Ryan likes to take over. They've done the bulk of it. I'm just always trying to like, it's been a really brutal routing on this tour, so I'm like always trying to catch up on sleep just to like help my voice. Um, which we were just talking about today, it's pretty, it's a very like futile effort. <laughs> it hasn't been very helpful, um, but it's been fun either way. So uh, yeah, I guess we can explore some of the stuff we got going up here. Um, yeah, this is the hat zone. Kind of the hat zone. Uh, oh, these are, these are Gabe's driving gloves. Gabe, can you come show off your, uh, your outfit? I mean, of course. It's, uh, it really helps him on the drives where he needs I a mean, little extra energy. Our steering wheel's old, so you need some extra grippies and more aerodynamics without the fingertips, you know? I'm already missing a fingertip of my thumb, so it fits perfectly. <laughs> and then let me uh, take that. Once the hat comes on, then it's all over, you know? This is the power stance. I do a lot of moves. I practice all my free time when I'm home, and uh, that's the lore of the but it, gloves. But it, it really helps the driving. I mean, like I on, mean, the, on the it gives me know. an energy kick. But then I also I get along with the truckers a lot better. Yeah. Sometimes bikers say what's up to me. I'm like, <laughs> hey, brother. Oh, but okay, wait. We got um, one of our favorite things about the van is I don't know if you've seen the show. I think you should leave. But it's best for you. Yeah. So we're huge fans of the show, and uh, there's a skit, the driving crooner, and. Uh, if you go around at some point, you'll see it. But you know, it's just from the skit. You roll up the window and you have the driving cleaner thing right there. And people, yeah, you do this and everyone, if you know the show, you know it. And it's been really fun on tour, just trying to see like, you know, which cities tend to have the most people that know it. And we do get people coming up next to us and like honking their horns and then they'll like do the little thing for them. It's like really fun. Um, We've got the club, obviously. Yeah. Uh, big 90s revival right now, so the club's <laughs> back. Um, and it does help for safety, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what else? I guess mostly just hats and like we just, you know, over time we collected little baubles. That doesn't even bobble, I guess, but Dobby. I think this is probably very expired. Let me check. Well, it says empty, so <laughs> there you go. I guess it's just been That's sitting there. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess that is a fan. Probably some pretty old water, I'm not going to lie. Maybe it's new. It's been a really hot tour, so actually I could see Gabe having filled that up. It's been literally like every stop of this tour is like record heat, except for like here and the last show in Minneapolis. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of horrible food and snacks in general, so uh, Gabe saw this and I said so that I had to get it. Um, yeah. You know, Twix. <laughs> I don't know what the slogan is. But... Yeah. I try really hard um, to stay fit and find time to work out and stuff, like just like, really like my own sanity. I do it, I run all the time at home when I'm not on tour. And it's very good for like the brain, for mental health. So I have my running shoes and uh, they're kind of just always floating now. <laughs> just good. It's been really hard on this tour to find time more than most tours. Like it's been really, really tough. Uh, and so also we have these and haven't used them once on this tour. Just like, you know, we're averaging like five hours of sleep max. So uh, it's been really tough to find like the strength to do any of this. Um, but running I've managed a few times because it's easier just to throw shoes on and just go. And it kind of wakes you up when you're really tired. Uh, so this, this bench is kind of the floater bench. It's sort of like whoever feels the most awake other than the driver and the passenger seat. Um, you kind of just, if, if, this is where everyone hangs out. So if you're not up here, you're going to be somewhere else like sleeping or something. Um, and also we only really have room for one person. Um, this has sort of become like just clothing. Yeah, dirty clothing. And, and yeah, and a like snack bag. We got a, next, a drum head here. That's mine, and then we sort of just throw things in there and take from it when you're Humpty hungry. Dumpty party That's mix. definitely not mine. Is this I, from Canada? This looks like Canada. I don't know. If it's in we had a big... Is it? Uh, yeah, there's yeah. there's French. Uh, okay, so it's, that's Canadian. French right here, so that's. We had a lot of fun. Like every time in Canada, you gotta just pull over at a gas station and get all the weird stuff. We have. Oh wait, we have. I bet we still have ketchup chips. Let's see. Empty water bottle. Uh, oh yeah. Very much. Uh, very. Oh man, they're wet. Why are they wet? Okay, that's great. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are a uh, hot topic in the van. 
Uh, I think at this point I'm the only one who kind of likes them because I love ketchup. And but I only had like half a bag, and I was like, okay, I'm really done. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of Pringles. We got nuts, pistachios, pop drops, uh, pop tarts. I mean, just a bunch of chips, all kinds of chips, and like mostly a chip based uh, environment yeah. over in here. Mostly chips, and then oh, but we got this in here. Um, so this was made for us by um, did she go punk rock? grandma and she came out to phoenix too and gave us so shout out to punk rock grandma she like kills it she made us this thing here and uh there's like a bunch of little masks in there and so oh we actually i forgot about this we have these for like you know it's just some chapstick and stuff um thankfully we hadn't had to use chapstick too much on this run just because it's been you know so another thing we got from punk rock grandma which was fucking awesome is she made this whole bag and then and then, this is now our newest addition to just like, you know, you have blankets around the van. But this is by far the coziest. And it says somewhere, it says there. Finished ticket summer, 2023. It's pretty rad. It's a big quilt. I won't undo it all right now because it's like huge, but she killed it. Really awesome. It's been used as a pillow and as a blanket so far. Yeah. Um, back here, this is typically Alex's bench. As you can see, he likes to read uh, novels and nonfiction um, and you can see his beautiful uh, tank top situation oh. he's got several no, that's my tank top. oh that's okay. mine wow. fell into his zone there you go um, <laughs> also another Brendan artifact is a basketball uh, that we allowed him to purchase <laughs> so he could have some fun uh, on tour and he's used it quite a bit you can, yeah it's just you can see it's gas stations and stuff if you just want to get a little exercise I love basketball so I'm just always dribbling so um, this is yeah pr the third bench uh, I got my pillow back here, my nice like lavender pillow. My favorite jacket, which, uh, oh man, it's really wrinkled right now, but it's like a, you know, Nebraska FFA jacket. I've had this since like 20, 2016, and now they're all the rage. I see them everywhere in LA, and it's a new thing, and I mean, I've had this for so long, and so I feel a little worse wearing it now. I'm not so cool, you know? But uh, yeah, I got that. I got this little blanket here. Um, more clothing. I have like a shirt here. I think I wore that on the first day of tour and it's just been there. Uh, same with these pants. First night of tour, just been sitting here. I uh, didn't even know these were here and <laughs> I was wondering where they were. Uh, okay, and then um, another thing, I, I have my coffee from earlier. There's no, uh, they're all gonna, they're gonna get mad at me. I do this a lot. There's no, uh, there's no cup holder here. I'm the only one without one really. Um, so I always don't know what to do with them and I have to find weird places to put them so they and I hope they won't fall over I've gotten in trouble before with everyone else. There's been one one incident so far yeah. uh, But you know you worked through it. It was okay. <laughs> I cleaned it up. It could have been worse. Yeah, yeah, it could have been much worse uh, Oh, and then last thing here just like a snack bag over here too. got more silverware got some bread um Got some cookies. My mom made me cookies, uh, and we when we passed through um, the Bay Area, got some cookies, and she gave me some peanut butter, and I think I have jelly somewhere in there that's unopened because I gotta wait till yeah I can put it in the refrigerator. But uh, so this would typically be Lucas, our stage guitarist. Um, he likes to go back here and just spread out. And I think it's. I mean, this is also sort of like a floating one, but it's usually Lucas's like on this run. Um, yeah, it's just sort of like, this is Gabe's blanket, I guess. That's also been floating around I think a there's bit. like, a, under the bench, yeah. I, I stuffed, I thrifted this awesome leather jacket, oh, wait, but it's been that's... too hot to wear it, basically the entire tour. Yeah, I wore it once and there. sweated in it, just for fashion, you know, you suffer for fashion, but <laughs> um, for the most part, it's just been folded up under the bench. Uh, and I'm still, every day I look at the weather and I'm very disappointed. Um, yeah. But maybe in the fall, we'll see this. <laughs> Uh, symbol. That's I think the one that just broke. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. It's not cracked, but it got all messed something up. Something happened to it. I don't really know drums at all. So uh, this is a. Uh, oh yeah, you can see here. There's like a crack. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look like much, but it sounds horrible now. So that just looks great. Uh, really, just that. Yeah, just drum heads. Shout out to Remo. Um, this is the shirt I wore last night, which. Oh yeah better now that it's dry. So. <laughs> Gabe loves to drive, he loves to pack. He's like, 
he just loves to do those things. He loves to get everything going and just like, you know, he's kind of, that's his like personality, um, like outside of playing music. He just is, I don't want to say anxious, but like he, on tour, it, it kind of comforts him to kind of be the one doing all that. And obviously we try to help, but he's like very good at all of it. He looks to get things done and we Tetris things uh, as best yeah. as we can. And we usually have a pretty good system, but of course there are nights where yeah. we don't. And the next morning, everything's it a, can be like a bomb went off in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, we've had all kinds, like Gabe is very good at packing this. Usually it's very like, he keeps it very like, um, very even, making sure, like we had, we just got new tires. So that we finally had to, but before that, we've done a really good job of keeping them like as good as possible. Just because he's always packing it to be even, and the trailer's not leaning ever or anything like that. So it's been good. Um, and we've had times like a long time ago, we were like in a bus, and Gabe used to have to pack everything in one bag, and he's like he would just do it every night. So he's very skilled. That's why, like, if any of us try to help, he's like very like no, 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 I got it, because he's just very good at it. And we all will mess it up a little. At least I will. Uh, you're good. He, he likes it. Yeah, I like pretty it good. as well. And then typically, <laughs> when we get to the hotel or wherever we're staying, there's like a little line of us, and then we take our big suitcases out of here, one by one. And then the same thing in the morning, we kind of line up and then try to get them in and fit them in a way that they won't fall over and crush and board and stuff. So you could, uh, good luck with that. Uh, we're finished, ticket. Thank you so much for checking out Burrito, our van. Uh, you know, just seen better days, but you know, thanks for checking it out anyway. <laughs> Uh, we just put out a, a song called Changing, streaming everywhere. Uh, first time in three years we put music out, and so it's a big deal to us. So please, if, you, if you're curious, just check it out. Um, and we got a lot more coming out following that, and we're hopefully leading up to a new album very soon. Um, and uh, supporting that, we'll definitely be going out on tour. Uh, don't have anything to announce just yet, but we know we'll be back out doing the U.S. at least pretty soon.